Hi, Barbara. Here are the top five security facts we learned this week. The Israel Defense Forces this week deployed its Iron Dome anti-missile system in the center of Israel amid tensions on the southern border with Gaza. The move comes after 12 members of the Islamic Jihad were killed during an explosion on Israel's border with Gaza. The Islamic Jihad said Israel's threats are a, quote, declaration of war and stated its intent to punish Israel for the deaths of its members. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu warned Palestinian militant groups against carrying out revenge attacks, saying Israel will react forcefully to whoever tries to attack it. Moving now to number two, the Iranian military has reportedly established a base in Syria. It's understood that Tehran has been setting up at a site used by the Syrian army 14 kilometers south of Damascus. There are reports of satellite images indicating construction of around two dozen low-level buildings, likely to be used as military barracks at a site closely watched by intelligence sources. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel will continue to take action in Syria. In public remarks to members of his Likud party in parliament, Netanyahu said he made it clear to Moscow Moscow and Washington that Israel will not halt actions across the Syrian frontier, even as the two powers try to establish a ceasefire. Now number three, the U.S. Air Force is in preliminary talks about placing laser weapons on fighter jets, specifically starting with the KC-135 refueling tanker as soon as next year. Also, Air Mobility Command is looking to the possibility of using lasers to counter surface-to-air and air-to-air -air missile threats. Air Force officials have talked about the idea of employing lasers before, but now they are taking steps to get a KC-135 to the Air Force Research Laboratory by the summer of 2018 to start testing the concept. And now number four, three U.S. aircraft carrier strike groups exercised together in waters off the east coast of South Korea this week in a rare show of force. This as President Donald Trump was in Asia with warnings about the nuclear threat from North Korea. The drill included the USS Nimitz, the Ronald Reagan, the Theodore Roosevelt, and their accompanying warships, the first time three U.S. aircraft carrier strike groups have exercised together in the region in a decade. South Korean naval vessels also participated in the drill. North Korea said that Trump's first trip to Asia showed he was a, quote, destroyer, and he was begging for war. And finally, number five, Boeing announced that the Bell Boeing V-22 fleet of aircrafts has surpassed the 400,000 flight hour milestone. The V-22 Osprey has been continuously deployed, deployed since entering service in 2007 with the United States Marine Corps and the Air Force Special Operations Command in 2009. The aircraft has seen extensive action in Afghanistan as part of Operation Enduring Freedom, in Iraq as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and as part of a U.S. Central Command Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, supporting a long-range rapid reaction and crisis response force.